All right, everybody, welcome back into Iowa Dish News. Two beloved comic book characters finally team up for a brand new movie, Deadpool and Wolverine. And movie reviewer Sean Chandler joins us to talk all about this. Now, Sean, you're the guy I really want to focus on here because the Marvel okay. Cinematic Universe has always been a family-friendly franchise. But now that Deadpool has entered the MCU, that's hard R always has been for that franchise. As a dad of three kids, and a father, is it wise to have your kids go watch this movie, even though there's big implications moving forward for the MCU? I know kids are gonna wanna see this movie. What say you? All three of my kids wanna go see this movie, including my five-year-old that has no idea who Deadpool actually is. I mean, it is very much a hard R movie with, from the very beginning, very graphic violence. There's lots of crude sexual humor throughout the entire movie. All sorts of things that are stated that you'd have to sit down with your kids and explain all sorts of sex acts to them. So this is not a movie designed for kids in any way, shape or form. I don't think my kids will be seeing it anytime in the near future. But I would love to show it to them a little bit later down the line. But even as a big MCU film, it's a big event film. I don't know that it will be pivotal for the future of the MCU in terms of the main plot. I that agree. They need to see it to understand what's coming. I agree with that because I saw it last night and I, I it yes, it's a it's a good movie for Deadpool. It feels like one and two to me. It does bring the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe mm -hmm. together, but it's not, in a sense, pivotal in moving the Avengers forward, per se. Right. That's yeah, you don't leave this movie going, oh, I know what's coming next. Now I get it. No, no, this is a Deadpool movie. It's the job is to pull Deadpool into the MCU, into Marvel Studios, have some fun with the multiverse, have a bunch of really cool cameos that fit in this universe because it always has been this meta fourth wall breaking universe. So doing the cameos makes sense here. I don't think its job ever was to move the MCU forward. So it's perfectly fine if younger kids don't see this movie, they will still understand the rest of the MCU. Does this save the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Because of late, these films have not been good at all. I'll quote the Marvels for a good example. Uh, is this help out the MCU or save it? Well, I'd say over the last five years, when people generally speaking think, think that there has been a dip in the quality, there's always been good projects in there. Last year, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Spider-Man No Way Home, a couple years ago. And I think this feels a little bit like that. It's a standalone project that's extremely entertaining, put a gigantic grin on my face, my audience was applauding. But when people say the MCU is in trouble, they mean the cohesiveness is missing. It doesn't have that focus. It doesn't have that feeling like we're moving towards something. And this movie doesn't resolve that. So I think the verdict is still out if the MCU is still in trouble. But this is a huge win for them in general. So a huge win is always a huge win, no matter whether way you look at it. But as for the whole, I think we need to see a few more projects where you see that consistency return and the focus return. I agree. Do you think this is the biggest movie of the summer or the year? Which is it? In terms of box office, I don't think so because Inside Out 2 has become the highest grossing animated film of all time besides the animated Lion King from five years ago that people pretend is live action. It's made like $1.5 billion. The highest grossing R-rated movie of all time is Joker and it only made slightly over a billion. So this movie would have to make 50% more than the previous highest grossing R-rated film of all time. Hmm. Now it's going to have the biggest opening ever for an R-rated Rated film, it's probably going to make a billion dollars, but I don't think it can quite make what Inside Out 2 is doing because that movie is just absolutely killing it. And this movie's going to kill it too. Well, now that Deadpool and Wolverine are in the MCU, what is the next movie you think that they will pop up in again? Wild well, guess. My my guess, it's going to be Secret Wars. We got two new Avengers movies announced. The next one, we don't know the title for it because it was going to be about Kang, but then for some issues with Jonathan Majors. They scrapped that whole idea. One after that is called Secret Wars, and it is kind of this multiverse, let's pull everybody together. And with just a couple lines sprinkled in Deadpool and Wolverine, it seems like they have plans to sh have these characters show up again. I'm assuming it's Secret Wars, so we'll have more kind of the fun, the banter. And what will Deadpool look like actually in an Avengers movie? I think that'll be answered with Secret Wars. 
Well, I, I love it. And I love your responses to all of these because you didn't give anything away. There's a lot of great cameos in this if you can't hide from this. And that's why we bring you on, Sean Chandler, uh, Sean Chandler talks about on YouTube. Uh, well done and well great thoughts out there and can't wait to hear what your next thoughts are on those next movies. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.